Your chicken legs could walk faster than the Earth. But how is that even possible when the Earth is rotating 1,000 miles per hour? Well, in order to understand the magic or the logic behind it, there are things we should learn first. Imagine you are sitting in a plane while it's flying. If someone asked you if you were moving or not, what would your answer be? It probably depends on which angle you see it. From your perspective, you are stationary, sitting and not moving around. Unlike our robot flight attendant who is handing out biscuits to the passengers, that is your motion in reference to the plane. In other words, we are assuming that the plane is not moving to say that you are stationary. But for someone who is watching you outside, you are moving as fast as the plane. And that is your motion in reference to the Earth. This is what we call relative motions, or the universe's way of messing with us. It is a motion observed with respect to another object. So how does this answer our question? How can we walk faster than the Earth? It is the same logic as flying in a plane, even if you feel like you are stationary, you are moving as fast as the plane. The same goes for the Earth. Even when you feel like you are standing still or laying on your bed and watching Netflix, the Earth keeps moving and you are moving along with it. So basically, by just doing nothing, you are already moving 1,000 miles per hour. If that is the case, then what happens when you start moving around? Well, that depends on which direction you are moving. If you start to walk 3 miles per hour, in the opposite direction of the Earth rotation, your actual speed becomes, the Earth rotation speed, plus, minus your local speed. So we can say that you are moving 997 miles per hour. But only by walking in the same direction as the Earth, your speed becomes 1000 miles plus 3 miles per hour, which is 1003 miles per hour. So, as crazy as it sounds, by walking in the same direction as the Earth's rotation, we could say you have more speed than the Earth. Well, kinda. Because there are things to consider. Just by being on Earth, you don't move at the same speed as the Earth. Your location is a main factor. For example, if you are at the equator, you move as fast as the Earth spins, but if you are closer to the poles, you move slower. In fact, if you are standing at the North or South Pole, you will be rotating at the same spot, which is basically zero miles per hour. Now, let's go back to our flight once more. Now we have a ball to play with, so why not toss it straight up into the air? While for you, the ball appears to go straight up and down to your hands. For someone observing from outside, they see something like this. This happens because the ball is moving forward at the same speed as the plane, but from inside, it appears to be not moving forward. This is relative motion in action, so remember that the next time, you feel like you're sitting still while you are not. It's just relative motion doing its thing. If you enjoyed this, you know what to do. We are Strange Dose. And this is your dose of strange.